Hi everyone, how's it going? I've got a quick question for you. Put your hand up if you think processed foods are bad. Because I'm gonna share a little secret with you that might help you understand the whole world of food, nutrition, and everything that I do in terms of my diet and lifestyle. I've got some amazing results if you haven't looked at my little highlights, um, uh, one titled Health. And a lot of people, people want these results. And that's cool, but they have this big sticking point in their brain about the idea of processed foods. And I agree that processed foods are bad. I love a good packet of crisps slash chips over here. Um, processed foods aren't great for us. We all eat them, they're not great for us. But there's a clear difference between a processed food and a nutritionally engineered food. And I just wanna compare those differences because when you get the difference, it's like, man, I need these nutritionally engineered foods in my life. So it all, I guess, starts with the idea that all food at some point started to be processed. Processed in itself isn't the worst word in, word in the world. The problem with processed was the time whereby people saw a marketing opportunity and they wanted to create food that is designed for higher consumption. So that's why processed foods are so bad. Chips, they're high in salt, sugar, fat, cakes, cookies, crisps, all of that stuff is actually specifically made to be consumed more by humans. It's like designed to be addictive. So no wonder it's bad from us. Um, and what happens is that for those processed foods, they remove things that taste bad, like proteins, vitamins, yeah, minerals, yeah, fiber, yeah. All that stuff like doesn't taste good, so they take it out. And you're left with just those salts, sugars, fats, the stuff that humans are like programmed to want. And then they put the perfect amount of salt on the chip so that we just can't help ourselves. That's processed foods, that's not gonna be good for us. But on the other side of the fence, nutritionally engineered foods sometimes get labeled with all that bad stuff when actually this food is specifically designed to nourish us, to satisfy our bodies, and to provide us with the most nutrition that we could possibly have. And I think this is such a key understanding to get. Um, this task is so much harder. To actually make this food is so much harder because vitamins, minerals, good stuff doesn't taste great. So to make genetically engineered food that people love, enjoy, and it tastes great isn't easy. Um, but that's exactly what um, the nutrition program that I follow does, and it works. So when I have my little shake bowl, I love it because it satisfies me, gives me all the nutrition I need, and I don't need to eat eight of them because I'm not hooked or addicted, but I do love having them every single day. And I think when you look at the science behind it, um, the genetically or the nutritionally engineered food is taken from nature. So the very word artificial means chemicals not found in nature. Um, so artificial foods aren't good because they're not found in nature. If you go back to that processed foods idea of the chips and the sandwiches and the ready-made meals, that's gonna have ingredients in there that are designed to make that product last longer, to go on a shelf, to, to be able to provide that marketing lifestyle in the Western world that we live. Whereas, with the products that I use and follow, for example, an Isoline Shake is amazing because there is nothing artificial in it. Everything in that product is taken from the earth, from nature, from the environment that exists around us. And I think it's amazing to think that we lead such busy lives. And how often in your day, in your week, do you feel the need to eat or to fulfill that brain signal that you're hungry and you need nutrients. And around us, we don't have access to excellent whole food, beautiful ingredients from the earth. And then we have to turn to the processed foods because that's what's readily available. And I think if you've got a situation in life where that pops up a lot and you can use nutritionally engineered food, which someone has spent so much time and money investing in, giving your body exactly what it needs at that moment, and it's convenient, then for me, like that is a no-brainer. So 
when someone comes up to me and says, are you still doing that shake thing? Oh, are you having that shake? That's weird. I'm like, man, like, do you understand this idea of what we put on our bodies is so important? And I would also caveat this with in the same way that processed foods are designed for higher consumption, there are certain nutritionally engineered, in engineered foods where people do cut corners and they put the artificial stuff in around with that because they're trying to get better margins or a better business or a better something. And I would not align with that either. I align with a line of products that are 100% natural, that are 100% non-artificial, they're all found in nature. And in the way that my body responds, it kind of works because that's what we're told, right? Eat from nature. Anyway, little chat on processed foods versus nutritionally engineered foods. If it's helped you, amazing. If you want to try an Isoline shake, you probably should because they are so, so good. Have a wonderful rest of your day.